do. Joining me right now, criminal defense attorneys Brian McCormack and Dante Mills, both of, them, both of whom have been watching the case very closely, but even though they're both criminal defense attorneys, very different perspectives. Dante, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to start with you because here's the way I look at it, okay? The problem is he only came forward with this version of events yesterday, right? So he was very keen to say, I wanted to come forward to investigators. I volunteered but he only comes forward with this version yesterday, and that was pressed by Creighton Waters today. What did you think? He did a good job pressing him on why it took until yesterday, but Alec had a reply. He said, and he turned it on him. He said, I tried to reach out to you to tell you my story, and you didn't want to hear it. So he turned that on to the prosecutors and made it their fault that they didn't get that additional did information. Did he go up, but he, did, he didn't really reach out and say, hey, listen, I lied about the kennel video, and that's the question I have. So look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Brian on this. Brian. Every time I've been on this program, I guess I've looked a little pro-prosecution. I'm going to flip it right now. I think that there was a problem with the prosecutor today. I didn't hear any gotcha moment. I don't know if it added anything. Tell me I'm wrong. Defend the prosecution if you can. Well, let me first start by saying that the lie, the main lie about having not been down to the kennels, and then in literally the last minutes of his son Paul's life, takes a video where Murdaugh's voice can clearly be heard, puts him at the kennels. That right there is a lie he can never get around. What's more, his reasons that he claimed that he lied are not credible. First, he says that because he was an opioid addict and therefore that apparently completely eliminated his ability to tell the truth for the rest of his life doesn't ring true. Even worse, the second reason he claims he lied is because he didn't trust South Carolina law enforcement. Here is a man who comes from a family that was the ruling class, the ruling elite, the establishment in that county for a hundred years. His father, his grandfather, and his great-grandfather were the top prosecutor in that county. And Alex Murdaugh himself served as a volunteer prosecutor. The last people on earth who should be afraid of the police are the Murdoch family. They are the ruling class. So, so his so reasons I'll tell you what. he claims for lying I'll, do I'll, not I'll ring what, true. Brian, let, let's actually play a portion of that to give everybody a better example of what you're talking about. This was from earlier today. So you said it's in this interview that it clicked that, I, that I'm going to lie about the most important fact that I know? Based on my distrust of SLED, and getting in that interview, and I'm not positive about this, but I believe when he asked me, you know, about my relationship with my wife and my son, I believe that's when I decided to lie. You but I'm not left positive. out when you had the GSR, too, because that's what you testified to yesterday. That certainly contributed. And, you, and your dope paranoia, too. You said that as well, correct? Well, those things are what triggered the paranoia that started as my addiction evolved. Dante, here's the thing. He didn't just lie when SLED started thinking he was a suspect. He lied to Sergeant Green, who was the first responder on the scene. So the idea is, why do you lie? You can blame paranoia. You can blame the drugs. I actually think that they're probably going to be calling a drug expert to support it. But the fact that he immediately lies about where he was and what he did to the first officer, that I feel is tough to get past. That's a problem. We talked about this. Even before that, his 911 call, he said he hadn't seen them for an hour and a half to two hours. So already, immediately, when your wife and son is laying on that ground and you want them to get help, you start to lie, that's a problem. But I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to do my best Alec impersonation. I'm going to look into this uh -oh. camera, uh -oh. and I'm going to say, right, I'm going to say, when I'm backed into a corner, or if I am backed into a corner, I would hurt myself before I would ever hurt my wife and child. That's a good argument. He had the chance to say that, and that's very, very compelling. Well, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.